Hi, we're going to be working today with picture graphs. And like the name suggests, we're going to be drawing some pictures in order to um, read some graphs and make them a little bit more exciting to look at. Um, so the goal will be I can draw picture graphs and use them to solve some problems. Um, I went ahead and already drew out a picture graph. Um, I'm also going to have some information that we're going to use to create our own picture graphs. So this one is about favorite colors. Lost a magnet there, that's okay. All right, so let's check out this information. Let's look at the graph and kind of see what information that we can learn from it. Um, you can check out the title, it says favorite color. So we know that these words are gonna all be color words. They're gonna talk about the different colors that people liked. Um, each star represents one student. So if you count up all of these stars, it will tell you how many students are represented. Um, so that actually is one of our questions. So how many students voted when we were talking about their favorite color? Let's count how many students. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So 14 students voted. Um, let's look at some of the other things that you can see. Which color has the fewest votes? So it's easy to look at a picture graph and notice which of those lines of information is shorter than all of the others. The green is the shortest, so that means it has the fewest votes. So which color has the fewest? Green. So I like trying to make it more detailed. So green has the fewest votes. Um, our next question, how many students chose blue or pink? So that means we're going to be looking at the data for the blue, and we're also going to look at the data for the pink, remembering that each of these stars is representing one student. So all we have to do is count up blue plus pink. One, two, three, four, five. And then we have for the pink, one, two, three, four, five, six. You could also just you know, count on and say 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Um, but you know 5 plus 6 is 11, so I would say 11 students chose blue or the pink. Um, here's another question that you'll see this question stem a lot. Um, how many more students like pink than green? Well, you can see that there are more students that like pink. I can see that that's the most favorite of all of the colors that were chosen. Um, so this is another equation that we're going to have to write. Um, how many more students like pink than green? Yes, you can kind of see that. No, you can't. Let me just move this over a little bit. There you go. All right, so pink then green. Pink has six and green has three. So my equation is six minus three, which has the value of three. So three, and remember these are students, three students um, is what the answer for that question would be. Um, I do wanna not just spend all of the time on those, but part of what you need to know how to do is to take some data and turn it into your own picture graph. And remember to put the labels on it. Remember to put everything on there. So I'm gonna just kind of pull these off and let everything fall real quick. It's easier for me to not deal with. That's fine. We're going to just do an erase, erase, erase. Goodbye to that. Um, the next thing that we took a vote on, our favorite sports. Um, so there are several different sports that are on this chart. Um, we're going to be looking at the chart to find out the information and to fill in the categories. We're also going to get to choose a symbol that we want to use. Um, I'm going to use one of these pens my friend Aiden gave me. Shout out, Aiden. Thank you so much for these marker pens. Um, I'm going to choose orange since I am thinking about Aiden. Um, and we're going to fill in our chart. So favorite sport. That's what my title is going to be. Remember, the title is what you're putting up on the top. 
Then you're going to fill in all of the categories, the sports that you could have chosen. So notice that I don't have that much room, so I can't write super, super, super big. Um, I'm going to have to try to make my, my words a little bit smaller, so pay attention to that before you start writing. I'm going in the exact same order. So I've got baseball, basketball, football, tennis, and then softball. It's okay if you get a little bit sloppy. I'll, I'll be okay with that. Um, I know that you might not have as much room on your paper when you're doing your work. So the last one is volleyball. Um, this space down here is where I'm going to put the key. Remember, the key is just another way you can say the symbol that you want to use. So you have to put the word each in front of it. So each, and I'm going to just turn, turn my, um, my symbol into a circle, um, and I'm going to fill it in. So each circle, it kind of reminds me of a ball for the sport, is one student. So now it's set up. I just have to fill in my data. So looking at baseball, I see that I should have eight circles. So I'm going to draw my circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, I'm going to quick color them in so you can see them a little bit better. Um, notice how I drew them first and then I went back to color it in. I just don't want to forget how many that I drew and accidentally draw way too many. Notice how I also try to make them about the same size. When you're using symbols, you want to keep them about the same size. So when I'm going on to my next category of basketball, I want to try to make those nine circles about the same size. And I should see that it goes farther than the baseball, because remember, that number of nine is greater. So I'm going to try to line them up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I did the best that I could. All right, here we are, filling it in. This is also a great time to recount what you just wrote. So there's eight, and then the last one for nine. So I can just look at this picture, and I can see that more people voted for basketball than for baseball. Next, I have football. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Remember, it has to look like it's smaller than basketball. So be very careful when you're drawing your pictures for your picture graph. Go back, color them all in. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tennis has seven. One, two, three. And I'm looking to try to do it right below. Four, five, six, seven. So this had eight, seven should look like it's one less on there. Make sure, I know it sounds super repetitive, but I've seen what you guys do sometimes. Do not rush through this. The picture graph has to look a certain way. Um, choose a symbol that's going to be easy for you to recreate over and over and over again. Don't choose something too, too intricate. All right, softball has six. One, two, three, four, five. And see how easy it is because I'm going in order and I'm not saying, oh, well, I want to have this category to be the first one because it's my favorite. No, go in order of where you're grabbing that data from. It's going to make it way easier for you. So softball has six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. The last one we have is volleyball and it has five. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Some of these started getting a little bit smaller, so I might have to go back and adjust them a little bit. But pretty much, you know, I mean, you're going to do your best try, and I'm trying to do my best try as well. Um, all right, so I have some questions, and I also wrote those in orange. Um, so which sport has the most votes? Now, if you just look at this, you can see very easily on this picture graph which one has the farthest? This one is like almost getting off of that paper. So basketball has the most. Which sport has two more votes than volleyball? Ooh, well, let's figure out how many that volleyball has. This one might take a little bit more thinking. So volleyball has five. One, two, three, four, five. And it, I'm looking for a sport that has two more than that. Well, if volleyball has five, 
I need to add two. I'm trying to figure out which of these has seven. All right, let's see. Oh, I see something really cool. Because all of these things are lined up, and I was just going to look for a straight edge. I don't really have anything awesome. All right, so I'm going to just look at this. If I follow, this is not the super best straight edge. Let's do this eraser. All right, so if I follow this up, volleyball has five. If I put this over here, I can see really clearly that tennis has two more. And if I do a double count on that, I do see that tennis has seven, which answers the question of which sport has two more votes than volleyball. It's tennis. Tennis has two more than volleyball. Um, which sports have exactly the same number of votes? That's really important. Look at how I can see when I'm looking at baseball and football that they're exactly the same. None of these other ones have the exact same amount. So I know that baseball and football are the ones that have the exact same. So which sports have exactly the same? I would write in baseball and football. This is getting a little sloppy, sorry. All right, um, how many fewer students voted for softball than basketball? This is another equation that I'm going to be working on. And I'm talking about fewer. Does that mean that I'm going to have to do a subtraction? Hmm. How many fewer stu students voted for softball than basketball? Yeah, it even has that comparison word in there. It says then, 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 whatever. All right, anywho, softball than basketball. So softball has one, two, three, four, five, six. And basketball has three, six, and nine. So we're doing nine minus the six. It's three. Three more students voted basketball than, I should say voted for, but you catch my drift, um, than softball. Um, my next question, this is the last one. Um, I mean, I could answer which one has the most votes. We already kind of talked about that. So if three students changed their votes, uh-oh, changing votes. We've seen that happen in our class before. If three students changed their votes from football to baseball, how would the data change? All right. So football currently has three, six, seven, eight. So football currently has eight. And I'm going to just write that to the side. Football has eight. But if people change their mind and they're not voting for football anymore, that means we have to subtract three votes from that. So only five people have voted for that now. And if they're changing it and they're not going to like football anymore, now they say they like baseball, we need to add to baseball. So baseball, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So baseball had eight. Hey, they did have like the same exact answers, huh? So baseball had eight and we have to add the three that gives baseball 11. So how would the data change and explain that? Well, the data is changing, all right? Football to baseball. Now baseball is the highest. So you could write now baseball has the highest. You could also write now football has five votes and baseball has 11 votes. They are the most popular sport in the um, voting now. Um, this is essentially how you work on a picture graph. Remember there are some key things that you have to have for your picture graph. So you want to have your title. You want to keep your categories in the same order from where you're taking your data collection from. Um, you also want to have your symbol. Choose a symbol that's easy for you to draw and recreate um, and make sure that you have um, what it represents as well. That's how you're gonna be successful on your math for today and your picture graphs.